Oh man, I don't know, like it loves weird though. So, in one word or one phrase, what what comes to mind when I say the word love? Okay, well, for me, my perspective of love is um. I think about uncertainty. You fully accept someone else for who they truly are. My life, I live on it based on two factors. What you need and what you want. And with me, whenever I, I think about love, it's the most overrated, needed thing ever. Mm. See, I was gonna say either universal or limitless, but... Really? Yeah, cause I mean like love, love isn't like, love is a very general thing. It's not easy, like it's not easy to really define. It's very fluid, it changes all the time. Like, I don't believe love is certain. I think um, people change. And when people change, we also change feelings. There's no facade, there's no charade. You know, it's like, a hundred percent this person they express who they are 100 percent genuinely and you you admire them and you love them for that you genuinely love them for who they are and that's the weird thing about love too like it's just you never you can never really be like i want this kind of love because it's almost like never gonna happen it, it really is just on you and then, like you get used to the love that you receive and I spend a hot minute of my life thinking that love is unnecessary feelings, emotion are something that we're gonna fucking drag you down only but after the talk with Kai today I feel like he, he opened my mind I know that, I acknowledge that I need someone who care about me. You could love someone, but that's that same person that you'll hate in like the year after. And I think romantically, for me, ideally, um, like the perfect girl would be a girl who loved me for who I truly am. I act as who I am without being self-conscious about them judging me. I just be completely 100% real. And I think love in a sense is where they, they, they accept that and they, they find like happiness out of that. What if it does happen though? Like what if, what if, um, Oh, you get like exactly what you want? Yeah. Do you think, do you think that's like something that should even happen in the first place? Um, yes, in a sense, because maybe it's like what you want, but it might not be what you need, but maybe getting what you want shows you what you need because a lot of the times like you can like you'll 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 search all over the place for for one specific thing it may not even be love and then when you get it it's just not anything of what you wanted like like some people are more in love with the thought of being loved than being in love than act love itself and ugh, like that's like it's this whole fucking yeah you guys care about me but it's not the same way as the girl a significant girl that gonna care about me. I've been using chasing the bag, making more money as an excuse to me to not love anyone else because all it is is just I'm afraid to 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 fall in love so that I, I wouldn't get hurt again I, or I wouldn't get hurt that person again. But my psychologist say it's just me being in denial, me afraid of, of, of connection, intimacy. I'm using money, proving my dad wrong as an excuse, but for what? I'm lonely at the end of the day. Does it break your heart that things change? I kind of, I broke up with uh, my ex at the time because I wanted change. I felt like she was 
kind of dragging me down a little bit. And I want to be a better person. And it worked. I definitely had a lot of character development from her. Do you ever wish that it would that it didn't have to be from her? Yeah, yeah, no, I do wish that. Yeah. yeah. Because I hurt her a lot. I also hurt myself as well. And that's another thing about love that I really don't fuck with. Is that sure it's really fucking nice to have and it's good, but it also comes with a lot of pain. And sometimes I don't think that pain is worth it. Universal or universal. Yeah. I kinda wanna talk about like it being universal. Like or maybe just the concept of love mm. as a universal force itself. Like yeah. it, like do you think that we should define different types of love or is love just one thing like should there be romantic love and because you mentioned how like you know because some people their version of love is just giving people happiness mm. but other people's version of love is like okay like yeah, yeah. that's technically love but like i want to romantically love someone love is a spectrum love cannot be one thing like it's fucking impossible uh how do i even go about that damn um Like, if you feel for someone, you feel for someone, but, like, the way you feel for them is different. Like, some people some people want to say I love you all the time, and then some people, like, you, you won't ever say I love you, and you just... It's the things that you do, like... It's like answering someone's phone call, or, like, putting, like, putting your own life away to help them out, or, like... That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Like, it, it, it does, but sometimes, like, people will throw it all away. Like, it's for gambling. Like, people will throw it all away just for that, like, one... That one feeling, like it's, I feel like it's the same thing with love. Yeah. Like, and then even with it being universal, like, like yeah, like you can love. Like now it's like it's not a man or woman. Now it's like woman, woman, men and men. Like, like there's fucking there's a whole like community of just furries. <laughs> like I like like that like and people like can do that and be in a married relationship and still be like each other furry. Like like that's a whole thing on its own. Yeah. And it's just regular like. Uh, fucking, there's people who share hands, the love of hentai and like anime and like other BDSM shit. Like, it, so, and it, that's sometimes it's not even sexual. Sometimes you might have a love for like English or reading or 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 wines or alcohol. Like, yeah, like it's weird. I feel like there are certain things. Like there are like the connecting webs that everyone has with each other, and some are more interlaced than others, and some work more well with others, and it's like. Sometimes you have people who are like exactly alike, and then sometimes you have people who are complete opposites. But like those opposites, like not even like love each other, but like they help each other grow. And it's just there's a lot. Do you think that it's possible for there to be true love, but at the same time, boundaries? I think, I think yeah, for sure, because you know every person is uh, different, and every person, you know like true love they're not going to be carbon copies of each other so of course they're going to be there's going to be boundaries of some sort but ultimately if you truly love someone then you'll respect those boundaries whatever they are and you'll look past those boundaries you'll respect those boundaries because you love that person with a hundred percent of your heart let's say that those boundaries involve you not being able to know a person a hundred percent do you think love is still possible hmm. i think if you were to say i love someone and also admit that you don't know them a hundred percent you'd be lying to yourself because i believe that with true love you know this person inside and out their, their sins and also like their blessings right you know them 100% through thick and thin. That's true love. You know their bads and their goods, but you also accept it. You accept their bads and you accept their goods. That's true love. So to me, if you didn't fully know a person, then I don't think that'd be true love. Because if you didn't fully know a person, that kind of means that like you're more, you're leaning towards the parts that you like about that person. You're kind of ignoring the parts that you don't like about them. And in a sense, 
you're being you're choosing to be ignorant about that about the whole 100% of the person so I think with true love you need to truly understand the person in and out and that's the good or the bad you can't just choose that's true love and that's why it's so rare you know because it's hard for people to accept the bad part about someone because you're blinded by that good part of them it's valentine's day it's just a regular day to me i'm not really at that stage yet where it actually matters to me it's just any other day what stage would you have to be at for you to feel like Valentine's Day is a valid thing to, to really treat seriously? I guess a stage of foundation where I can actually settle down and love somebody. Because currently we're not really at that stage where we can. We're all learning. We're all changing. You know, you could love someone right now, but then fall out of it next year. When we're older and more mature, we actually settle down more. Yeah. And that's where I feel like you can actually truly experience love. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, we're 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 kind of young. Yeah. I guess right I'm, now we're just fucking around. How old are you? I'm only 18. Yeah? Yeah. Some it. people expect you to be at a certain point to be lovable, you know? Yeah. They expect you to have that that job. They expect you to have that income. That fucking car. That fucking <laughs> car. Oh, shit. oh my god. And you know, I, I get it, I get it. When you're dating an older chick, you definitely need to have that status. And with me, when I was kind of with an older chick, I, uh, things just didn't work out because I was still at that experimenting stage. I was, or I still am. Um, I don't really give a shit about status and foundation like how older women do. Is that unfair? No, it's not. No, no. I mean, like, if you were 22 years old, would you date an 18 year old? Probably not, right? But what if it is? You're growing and you're changing. Yeah. I don't know, like, I know this seems kind of fucked, but would you date a homeless woman? So you, you said that love, the first thing that comes to mind is uncertainty. And for sure, a yeah. lot of your, a lot of, it, it is uncertain, and people change, people grow, and a lot of your answers too, it, it reflects your own opinion of uncertainty. Right. Do you think it's possible to stay with somebody forever, and feel the same way about them forever? Until you die? No, I don't think so. We, we live in a world where you're basically married to someone and at one point you do like before the marriage and after the marriage for a little bit you really do love them but then 10 years down the line you find out fucking Karen is cheating on you with that other dude you know like I don't think it's impossible to actually love someone until you die but it definitely is rare yeah. It's really rare. Does that make you sad in any way? It fucking sucks. Yeah? Yeah, I know it sucks, but I guess it's just like kind of in our nature, you know? If you're lucky, then you can actually, you could really settle down with someone, yeah. you know? But, I mean, statistics show, like, there's a lot of people that get divorced. Yeah. I mean, all of my friends, our parents, we're all, they're all fucking divorced. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and then when you grow up with that, it's kind of like, you kind of 
see how uncertain relationships can be. You know? Yeah. I guess like that's why a lot of people we don't really want to settle down for a relationship. We just kinda wanna do benefits, experience that little honeymoon between mm-hmm. two people, you know? Or three if you're freaky, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you like love? Ah oh, man, honestly like there's days where like it's not even like fully related, but like there's days where I'm like honestly like being a virgin again would be nice. Like like I'm just like no like I kinda even like I kinda like, wish I could like f- forget a bit of like what like sex was like because it's just I think the thought of it is so like for me at least like I wasn't really like pining for it. Like it was yeah. like it's fun, like it's like it's enjoyable to like see or hear or watch, but it's just like I never really vied for it. Like I never really wanted it like some people do. Cause I feel like when you're a virgin, like it's like you have less problems. I feel like once you start having sex, yeah. like there's just like there's so many things that pile up, and it's just it's just like it, it's like a little bit of like a mental um, strain. It's kind of like it's kind of like cursed knowledge. Yeah. Like you know, like HP Lovecraft, like. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. The people are so fucking like uh, unpredictable. Like, even the people that you can read like a book could definitely have one or two little things that just kind of throws everything off. Like, God. Like, people watching is one thing, but people watching, like, in a club or in a party is is just, like, you just be like, everyone just has such different life experiences that have led them here. Because I'm like, like, life goes on. Like, obviously, you want to do the best you can, but, like, like, things, like, things have to end. Like, Nothing is forever. Like it's such a simple statement, but like it, if you really apply it to everything you do, like it, I feel like you, like oh, there's like a weight that comes off your shoulders. Like you're you're more inclined to just let it, let things run its course and enjoy the course while you're doing it, or even be like, okay, fuck it. Like if this is gonna crash and burn, like let me try and like do a little drift before, yeah. like it blows up. Like it's it's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, like I don't know why I'm so chill about certain things, but I just yeah I feel like it's just I've been smoking way too much weed. Um, yeah, like heartbreak. Like I don't think there's ever a bad heartbreak. Like I think maybe when you get older, you start to realize that like what you were doing along the way, and then there's, there might be one relationship where you're just like, damn, like I really, like I really wasn't ready for it. But no, like yeah, I feel like, like I feel like everyone has bad heartbreaks, so it's not like there's never like an individual one, but. That you feel special to you? About like being in love? Yeah, like maybe it could be like before you even experienced it. Like was it like this grandiose thing? Like this greater than reality type of thing? Yeah, like it's trying to, yeah, all these fucking TV shows make love sound like the litest thing. Like, like it's not. Like the honeymoon phase is one thing. And there's some people who don't even have the honeymoon phase and it's yeah. just like they're deep into it. And then, um, fucking, no, like it's not. It's not this big thing. It's just like a word. Like we just, our lives are now together, and we're going through this fucked up life together, and we're just keeping in contact. Like it's not this grand gesture. Like Disney, Family Channel, Nickelodeon. Like they make that shit sound like a shit in the world. No, it's not. But real, I feel like real love is then is like to a point where like y'all are y'all get to a point where like y'all actually start getting crazy around each other, and like you're so used to it that like you're kind of adapting to each other's craziness. Yeah. Or like when you're like taking a shit on the toilet and like she's just brushing her teeth and like that's it. Like like if she like I feel like when your girl hears the like like the shit hit the toilet water and it like plop up and she doesn't flinch, like I feel like yeah, y'all are y'all gonna be together for a little bit. I don't know. Like it's not that like it's serious but it's not that serious. Like I feel like oh like fucking weddings, like I feel like weddings don't need to be that big. Like I don't want a wedding to be that big. Like okay. I feel like the biggest I would do is like, okay, let's all like go out of town, like go vacation somewhere, yeah. and we'll do like a small little party. Be like, yeah, motherfuckers is married, ah, 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 like that's it. But I don't, I'm not spending like twenty thousand on a wedding. Like if we're gonna if we're gonna be together, like we're gonna be smart. We're gonna put that twenty thousand to a fuck out. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna put it to like like the future, an investment or something. But no, yeah. like it's grand, but it's not like like like. 
uh, like everything is 4K once you leave the chapel. Like ev like yeah. every like you see colors. Like no, like it's just this is your life now. Do you think that it's kind of kind of sucks? Like, because obviously, like yeah, like we can say that real love is like commitment and all that. Mm -hmm. and, like, being able to adapt to each, each other's craziness and like uh -huh. and like just being there for each other, but like obviously the chemistry is not going to be there forever, right? Yeah. Do you think? Does that fucking suck? Nah, I feel like it's kind of like like I feel like even now, like a story is like yeah, we like I got together with someone, but at the same time, like we're gonna eventually break up. Like it's it's no one's gonna stay together forever. But I think it's kind of fun to know that. Like, it's an, like there's an expiry date on it. Like, you should really enjoy the time you have and not try not to have any regrets. And try, like, really putting your foot forward in the relationship and shit like that. But it's kind of, I don't know. Like, okay, like I'm, like, I'm not scared of death, but at the same time, like, no one's outrunning death. Like, everyone's going to die eventually. Things die, concepts die, things live, blah, blah, blah. So just enjoy it while, while it comes, like, sometimes death is sudden, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, people will try and plan for it, and then it just happens, and then you just, everything's thrown into an array. Yeah. Which is why, like, I feel like in this situation, just try to avoid planning. Just be, like, content with doing what you want and making it worth it. The love between you and your homies, the love between you and your girl. What's what's the significance between that, and why is is there one that's more important than the other? Of course, like let's just say, I told you, I told Kai, I told Loha to hide the fact that I got sent into the hospital from Gabriel. And we all know that I love Gabriel the most Because I am way too concerned about what, the way he's gonna take the fact that I got hospitalized But as a girlfriend, if I have one, if I had one I wouldn't be afraid to let her know I would be comfy with the fact that she knows she's gonna take care of me more like, I don't know, it, it's really confused to me, Espe especially lately. The more lonely I get, the more confused I get. It just sometimes I really need a girl that, 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 that could handle my life, you know? Like my ex, the sample too. I know for sure that she cannot handle whatever I'm going through right now. That's why I broke up with her. Before I sample, I met her one person who could just deal with my shit just like the way she did with her shit she will know that I'm gonna die in a few years but she's still cool with it she's still vibe with me treat me like a normal kid a normal person you know just care for me and just just like ignore the fact that I'm gonna die in 10 years like you or like Lil Hung or like Kai Just vibing with me Just dance Just chill Just have fun Whatever it is I just For, for the most of my life I just want to be free Normally That's what I expect from the girl The, the one The one that I gotta make That she fucking I don't know The perfect one I guess What is it about a female that makes you desire so much. She can have the same qualities as your best friends like me or anybody else. What is it about a female that makes you desire it so much? It's just a female. I'm, I may make a lot of joke about female being a dishwasher. <laughs> no, I'm just being fucking straight honest with your video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I may make a lot of joke about female being a dishwasher or a fucking sandwich maker, but I know that well. Females deserve more than us, than guys, than males. Like, the, just the fact that 
we like normally people see them as, as a fucking sandwich maker. It make them worth so much more than us. We see them as sandwich maker, right? Female. But what do they see in us that male? No, nothing. Just human. Just human. Just normal human. We have no duty, no nothing in this fucking world. But females, they play important roles that make us give them nicknames for shit that they do. Hmm. That's why they are so special. And that's why we need them. Because there are significant things that female could do, but we can't. This is the first time I'm hearing you say this shit, you know? I'm drunk. Yeah. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That's my honest thought. Females, they are so far ahead from us. Like, have you ever fucking questioned yourself? Why is there a fucking like a woman day, but there's not like a man day? Because they have done so many more, so, so many more things. They got pregnant. They got to take care of the kid. Meanwhile, we gotta do the our job. Our job could be something that we want to do or we need to do. And you know me. Doing something that I need to do is like a happiness to me. But what if what about them? They gotta fucking take care of the kid. What's so fucking fucking happy or funny about it? Just fucking you, you wake wake up, make food for your kid and shit like that. Yeah, you love your kid, but that's all it is, you know? Just take care of your kid and what? Females gotta stay home. Cannot go to work for like a three of for like what 10 12 years uh, 10 kids I already had fucking kick out one more oh, sorry. 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 Bye, 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 it's okay sorry it's okay don't worry about it there's more wine yeah yeah you can have you just take it just take it okay Okay, okay, okay. You don't make up a little bit. Yo, I almost fucking fought a cracker. I think I'm sorry, I just can't focus on my fucking. Wait. Uh, I guess, in a sense, like true love, it's not very specific because there are so many people that exist in this world. I think that true love is more so just finding. It's more about finding someone rather than like, oh, this rare chance of me finding this 1% that someone, I don't know. I think you could definitely find, I bet like five people could be like your soulmate in the world, you know? I don't think it could be only one person. But when you, when you find them, do you think that there's a certain limit as to how much, how much you can feel for them? Um... It depends, right? Because if you see this person as your true love, then then I feel like your limit would be to the highest it could be, right? Um, if you if you're if your true love, like you would be lying to yourself if you said I have a true like multiple people in my true love, right? Because that's not genuine. Like only one person can be number one, right? And so, in a sense, I think your true love would be dedicated to only one person. I don't think it could be to other people. Wait, so, so you know Smash Bros, right? Mm. So do, do you understand about a move, like a, this, the concept of a move getting stale? Mm -hmm. You know, like you do the same move over and over and over again. Like it's your favorite move, but there's less and less damage yeah. that, it, that it gives over time. Yeah. Do you think it's possible for, even if you find that one true love, do you think it'll ever become stale? Yeah. Because I think with um, human beings in general, we're always searching for something to be different, to excite us. You know, that's what gives us purpose in life is something to something different. Right. So I think if with our true love, if we do happen to find them, I think eventually I think we would get tired of them. And I think eventually we would want something different because as human beings, we're constantly changing as people spiritually. 
we're always wanting something different, right? Even if that that person is like, you know, the one for us, right? I think eventually we get tired of it and we want something different. And I think that's just in our nature. So building off of that, you said that true love is knowing someone 100% in and out. Mm. Wouldn't that get stale? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It would get stale. Because um, ultimately, I genuinely do believe that human beings are selfish beings, creatures, right? We only care for ourselves. So in this case, the true love that I defined is um, a person who loves us for me, right? This is more about like me. So um, ultimately, yeah, we, we get tired of it because we're just that selfish. We, as human beings, it's in our nature for constantly to strive for change, to strive for something different. Would you like to grow with your partner? Definitely, I would. If it was possible, I would. But I haven't experienced that enough to give you a confident answer about that. What I'm telling you now is I definitely would like to grow with my partner. It's just the experience that I lack. Um, I couldn't give you a confident one. And with that being like, with that being said, you would like them to grow with you as well, right? Mm -hmm. Does that ever scare you? It does scare me because I, I believe that as people, you should learn to love yourself before loving others, you know? You shouldn't rely on another person to complete you. You should already be whole as a person and then love another person. But if, you, if you're if you only like half of yourself and you love another person, then you're only giving half of your effort, effort to that person. So yeah, I think, um, shit, what was your question? What the fuck was my question? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Your, your question was, is he scared? Oh, people are people. They they grow and they change on their own pace. And um, if I see this girl as my true love, she may not be willing or capable of changing as quickly or as slowly as I'm willing to, right? Because people are people. They're mm -hmm. unique in their own way, you know? Um, am I scared of that? I'm not scared of it, but... Uh, do I wish I would do I wish it wasn't that way? I do. I wish a girl could change and grow at the same pace as I could. But I've grown to accept that like people are individuals. They move and they change at their own pace. So whatever whatever pace they want to change at, whatever rate they want to grow as a person, I respect them. I'm not going to be I'm not really sad about it. It's more about me accepting that fact because as people we are selfish and as people we we change at our own pace and for me to almost demand another person to change at the same rate I do it's not right it's it's not fair you know that person is an individual they're just as lost as I am so they deserve that right to figure themselves out at a pace that they're comfortable with rather than me whether it's faster or slower, they need to change at a pace that they're comfortable with. And I, rather than being like um, sad about it or regretful about it, it's more so I accept the fact that they change at a different pace than I do. Because that's, that's just the fact about being human is we're so individually unique. Yeah. Do you think people fall in love in the same pace? Like with each other? Yeah. Um, no. Because, you know, uh, personally, like a lot of people, they fall in love with one person and the other person may not be in love with them as they wish. Like, you know, vice versa, right? So I think, uh, no. People fall in love at different rates. Simply because they're different people, right? But um, does that, does that like diminish 
or does that like um kind of undermine how much the other person is love with them no because again ultimately like every human being they're different so they go at their own pace and i believe that fully i fully believe that you should respect someone's pace in life you know sure they may be going slower or faster than you but ultimately they are their own person and they figure them one way or another they figure themselves out so if you are their lover you should respect them you should respect the pace that they're going and you you should respect why they're going at that pace you know so i think yeah it's not a big deal to like think about it to be worried about you ever think that's unfair? In a sense, it's unfair, but mainly to the person who thinks it's unfair. Because again, it roots back to that like narcissistic view of humanity, where it's yeah. like, I deserve this, I deserve that, right? So yeah. it's unfair. Of course, it's unfair to that person. But ultimately, if you look up, if you look at it objectively, uh, it, no, it's not unfair. It's not because, again, we all move at our own paces. You need to, if you, if you really love someone, you have to respect that they move at their own pace, and they're not gonna be a hundred percent like in in sync with you all the time. No matter how many times I say that, you need to be, you need to step out your un, your comfy zone to experience life and know how what it is. I still think that you guys deserve to be in the fucking comfy zone because out there is fuck up. But you know, there's two ways of looking at it. If you stay in your comfort zone, you're never gonna complete the hero's journey. Yeah, but you guys been out there once. And you watched my video, right? I watched your video. And you know it's a cycle. It ha it ha it's supposed to happen Yeah, over that's and the over one thing I hate about it. Because I've been out there. Yeah. I hate it. Mm -hmm. I learned the most thing. You call me, you say that I have a lot of wisdom. All of it, I learned it by the hard way. Mm -hmm. I don't want you guys to go through any of it. That's why I always talk to you about finance, work, business, saving money. Because you, I don't want you to go homeless ever again. I don't want you to be at the bottom of life ever again. I don't want any of that shit ever happen to you ever again. That's the thing. I'm overprotected. But I care. What's the point of me showing up to, into your life and you getting fucked up all over again? That's, that's what type of fucking responsibility I'm having right now with you or Gabriel. Especially Gabriel. Not gonna lie, whatever fucking Tina told me a year ago about, oh shit, I'm gonna fucking, maybe I'm gonna die one day, but Gabriel's life is, is all yours. You're gonna be responsible for it. At that time, it's like, yeah, sure, I got it. But until this day, it's been more than a year. I'm suffering. Whenever he skips school, he skips work, I'm fucking anxious. I'm just like, what the fuck should I do? How could I fucking make him go to school without hating me? How, what, what could I fucking ever do? Because I love him. This is all about love. But what could I do? I can't do anything. I feel hopeless. I'm scared. I'm just a, a 18 years old kid who have a house, who have a little brother right now I gotta take care of Who have like a whole family I gotta fucking take care of It's way too much shit on my shoulder right now When I'm sober I would never fucking say this shit But right now, I'm fucking stressed out I think about killing myself so often Just because of love That's why I, I told you Love is the, the fucking most underrated thing Overrated Overrated thing that you need in your life Because sometimes I'm just like If I ever met you guys I wouldn't fucking feel love anymore 
I just fucking care about myself. I just do my own thing. Is love like a curse? It is. Just like growing up. The more you know, the more responsibility you have to fucking take care of. I'm suffering. I'm tired. I wouldn't say I can't deal with it no more because I'm too strong, but I feel like I'm reaching my limit. My psychologist said that I'm in denial, partly, but I want to be totally, sometimes I ask myself, why can't I be totally in denial? Why can't I just ignore everything else? Sell my house right now. Use that me a million and five hundred dollars just to have fun and then die because I, I end up killing myself. Sometimes I ask myself that. Should I just fucking use all the money I have right now just to do drugs, just to have fun with you guys for a few nights and just end up killing myself? Because sometimes I want that. Because that's what's love. It's overwhelming. It's hard to take. It's too much responsibility. Not just to a girl, to the people that you love and you care about too. Is someone, anyone, gonna be in this video and only talk about a girl or a female? I would say that's fucking selfish. They cannot think outside the box because they can't see that the family. The person who they record for right now is the family and they love her, him too. That's what I'm gonna say. And I, I love you that much that I'm scared that one day, no matter how many times I, I fucking, I'll be like, yo, your arc, your video gonna be fucking viral. At the same time, be like, what if they can? What if they stuck, you stuck in this fucking whole thing? which is reality. You're stuck in it, and you can't be famous. What are you gonna do? I'm always fucking concerned about it. Every single time I say, you could nail it. At the same time, I'll be like, you can, and you're gonna fail. And what I'm gonna do to help you? I can't do anything. And I got fucking stressed about it. I decided to fucking, should I kill myself today or not? It's always be like that. I just being realistic. Damn, you gotta admit, drunk, hung, and sober hung are two different people. Thank you.